Hello, comrades! Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Open Potato. Now, just towards the end of the last episode, we ended up building this absolutely gargantuan, I guess, like, power cable connection from, um, from one side of the map, basically, to the other side of the map. In fact, it's, yeah, it's just big enough that you can just about see where the pylons are. Uh, right over, right over here on the, uh, on the mini-map. But anyway, yeah, so this, this basically means that we are supplying our home-produced power from the, from the power station that we have right over here in the industrial sector of Potato Grad. And, uh, at the moment, it's operating without issues. Uh, it doesn't look like there are any problems. We are producing power, which is, um, which is absolutely brilliant. So, as long as we're able to keep this area properly, you know, fueled up with processed coal, then, um, then I think that we will be absolutely fine. And making sure that there's always a supply of coal in the, uh, in the small aggregate storage, pretty darn important. We also need to make sure that we got enough workers, uh, in the, in the plant in order to produce power. As you can see, the amount of power that we're actually producing, reasonably minimal, uh, but that's because we don't really have many massive draws on our power. I mean, even the steel mill doesn't produce at full capacity the whole time, so that's why we're not, uh, that's why we're not, uh, you know, fully, fully capitalizing on all of the power production. Anyway, that was the last episode. This is the now. What are we going to be doing in this one? Well, I mean, I was a little bit inspired. I was a little bit inspired. And by a little bit inspired, I mean, I was majorly inspired at the end of, uh, of the last episode because it made me realize that, hey, it's not actually going to be that expensive, theoretically, uh, to build a bridge from one side of the map to the other side of the map. So what we're going to try and do in the first instance is we're going to try and find a location for a bridge. And then we're going to build one. Then we're going to build one, and then we're going to set up all of the different routes that we need to, to get set up, i.e. Uh, food trucks. Food tr trucks can go from Grainski uh, right across over to, uh, to Kobe. We can actually do that. You know, we just got to be we got to be careful about where we end up uh, where we end up building it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I would like to connect both sides uh, because, you know, we're making all of this. What the heck is going on here? Uh... All right, firstly, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of an issue. Building is without power supply. Why is the building without power supply? Uh, there's voltage. There's voltage. Uh, what's the issue here? What is the issue? You don't have, you don't have power. What the heck? You do not have power, but you do have power. We just, we just checked. I just, uh, I just, I just looked. I mean, there is, there's no voltage over here. Uh, did I miss a connection as well over in this area? Ah, I totally did. Okay, good. Well, you know what? It's a good thing that we, you know, caught these teething problems right now. So let's get that sorted. That's good. So that should allow the trucks to all, to all go through like so. Unload all of the oil. And then get the trucks to head back across to the other side of the map. Or I say the other side of the map. You know, just continue to fill up with oil. Anyway, since we're since we're not importing any oil anymore, uh, it's really important that we make sure that we have a pretty consistent supply. Anyway, oh yes, how's that going? Um, firefighters are on site. They are fighting the fire, but I mean, it looks like a blooming big fire. That's for sure. Uh, do I need to get some more firefighters? I think I need to get some more firefighters. And also, there's there's need for an ambulance. We probably should indeed get ourselves an ambulance. Right, can I buy a, a big fire truck? Sure. Let me buy... Buy that one and that one. Sure, we'll buy two more fire trucks. I'm not super optimistic about our chances of putting this fire out. I mean, it looks like it's steadily... Looks like it's steadily increasing... Next fire truck is going to be dispatched. Brilliant. And there's citizens awaiting an ambulance as well. We should, in fact, get a hospital over here. I mean, presumably a lot of people are going to be pretty pissed off that they don't have a hospital at the moment. Um, that's fine, though. That's fine. We can rectify that pretty much immediately. Okay. And then we will get to building the bridge. Then we will get to building the bridge because I really, really, really want to build this bridge. I really, really, really am very, very desperate to build this bridge. Can you tell? I, I'm excited. Uh, also, no, I'm very excited. There we go. Get this terraformed a little bit. Change that around. Bada-bim, bada-boom. Stick a hospital in there. 
fantastic. And we will just, we will just auto build that. I'm not going to worry too much about, not going to worry too much about uh, not auto building it. You know, we're not going to worry too much about saving money at this point. We're about to build a flipping gargantuan bridge. And I have no idea how much it's going to cost. Okay, and also build that as well. Cool. Alright, so a couple more people are going to end up in the fire station, which is brilliant. And we hopefully should get a couple of doctors. And we'll also buy a couple of ambulances. There we go. Buy a couple of ambulances for the benefit of the people who are awaiting treatment at the moment. We don't have any doctors at the moment. Um, which ain't super hot, but I'm sure that a couple of doctors will end up over there. Uh, have we got another fire truck almost arrived yet? No, doesn't look like it has. There's a fire truck over here. Traveling very, very slowly. Citizens killed in the fire. 14. Oh, jeez Louise. I don't even know if there's any way to stop that. I mean... Is there any way that we can stop this? Uh... This fire truck is just going too slow. I mean, let's hope for the best, but expect the worst, I think. Apparently, we just need more appliances on the scene. 16 deaths. That is really rather tragic. That is very, very tragic. Right. Looks like we're fighting it back a little bit now. What changed? What the heck actually changed? Yeah, wow. 20 people. 20 people died in the fire. That is probably, without a shadow of a doubt, the most destructive fire uh, that I think I've ever had. Um, and that's a, that's a great loss. That is a, that is a great loss for everyone. Right. Another fire engine on the scene. There we go. Let's put that fire out once and for all. Okay, little bit of a little bit of an unexpected twist at the start of an episode, but you know that is what it is. Uh, we need to keep an eye on whether the hospital has too many employees. I think it probably does, given the town of uh, this size. So we'll reduce it to that number of firemen as well. Probably has a few too many, but given that we're fighting a fire at the moment, I think it's probably wise not to faff around with that too much. Also, I need to redo this uh, this gravel. I need to... I say I need to redo it. I don't need to redo it. I just need to increase the number of trucks that we have on this road and also upgrade the road. But that can all wait. That's all... That's all... Uh, that's all secondary of importance to doing what I want to do. So, first things first. We need to scout a location. Now... I kind of think that maybe, maybe, maybe it would be worth, maybe it would be worth building the bridge at the closest point, but at the same time, I feel we've already got this road infrastructure that runs all the way up to the oil wells. If we have a little look over here, I'll take you over here. Yeah, so we've got this, you know, tributary road that runs basically up to the oil well, and I think maybe if we were to bridge across to this sort of delta over here then that might be a pretty good place to to link up because that means that from there we can connect up to this road which will take uh which will take traffic over to Grainsky and then build a bespoke road down to potato grad i think that's probably where we're going to want to end up doing the, the building of the bridge um it is a little bit of a pain because this area is so I don't know, fractious, I think, maybe, is uh, is a good way of putting it. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's give it a shot. Okay, so how do um, how do bridges work across, like, ridiculously long distances? I don't really want to build a wooden bridge, but let me just test. Cannot end above water. Yeah, okay, so let me see if I can just sort of drag it all the way across here. Okay, wow, so that is totally allowable. I do not believe it. That's pretty good, actually. Um, so if I was to auto build using rubles, how much would that, how much would that net me? So that's about, that's yeah, pretty much halfway actually. That little island right there, pretty much halfway. Oops, there we go. That would cost me a hundred thousand rubles. I mean, that's actually not, that's actually not ridiculous. That's actually not ridiculous at all. Um, prefab bridge. I think maybe we want to try and build a prefab bridge. Yeah, I mean, if I build a prefab bridge, 
What are the chances? Oh, goodness gracious me. Uh, that's going to cost me 360,000 rubles. However, however, in saying that, it needs a ton of resources for which I do have quantity of. I.e., we could theoretically build it ourselves. Can I end above water? Let me bring this out here. Angle of connection is too sharp. I think we just bring it out over there. Yeah, so that that I feel is a is a pretty darn good bridge. I mean, that is going to cost me five hundred thousand rubles to build. However, however, I like the idea of trying to build it ourselves. Um, for a couple of reasons, really. Let me just connect this with a dirt track at the moment. This will obviously be upgraded to, you know, give the road the respect that it deserves. We'll probably end up asphalting it at some point. That point is not now. Absolutely not now. I just want to make sure that we've got a little, uh, a little area at the start and at the end. Look at that. Look at that. That is quite something. I like the look of that, actually. That is that is not too bad. You know what? Maybe at a point in the future, if indeed we've got the money, the resources, the gumption uh, to build another bridge, we could probably do that. We could probably absolutely do that. Um, but for now, what I think we want to try and do is I think maybe, I think maybe we're on to something. I think maybe we're on to something about building the bridge by hand. Um, so, for example, if I'm able to stick down a... I always forget where it is. Yeah, that's right. A construction office. If we're able to stick down a construction office right about here. Yeah. In fact, let's stick down multiple construction offices. Four, I think, might be... Well, actually, it'll be nowhere near enough. Cancel the contract for that. Cancel the contract for that. And we will go through with building the four of these construction offices over here. And then we will build the bridges by our lonesome self. Maybe it's overly ambitious. Maybe it's not. Right. So what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to buy a whole bunch of excavators. Uh, and a whole bunch of bulldozers. There we go. A whole bunch of bulldozers. It's maybe a little bit of overkill on the bulldozers. Uh, we're going to need the trucks that transport the people. Here we go. Get those buses. And also... Get... Yeah, I, yeah. Leave it, leave it at that. And then also... Get the trucks which transport uh, concrete. Yep. So get a whole bunch of concrete trucks. And then get a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of... Dumper trucks. Uh, sorry, not dumper trucks. Covered hull trucks, I believe. So it's covered hull... No, it is dumper trucks. Yeah, so dumper trucks move asphalt and gravel. And that is actually what we're after. So, the resources that we need in order to build this bridge. Concrete, gravel. Both of that is accounted for. One by the mixer, one by the dumper. Uh, and then also prefab panels. How do we transport prefab panels? Uh, that is done in an open thingamabobber, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Looks like we're going to have to get one final one final construction office. Cool. I hope that there's no limit for where the construction offices can uh, can get their resources from. Otherwise, we might be in a problem. Uh, it might be in a little bit of a might be in a little bit of a tight situation, but we'll 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 cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, let me get a bunch of cases. I know this is gonna wipe me out financially. Building is without a power supply. It doesn't need a power supply. Right, so what we can now do, and this is the first stage, we can now level the terrain with the chronic army of buildo uh, bulldozers, bulldozers that we've that we've ended up purchasing. Now we don't need to level the land too much, but we can actually do it with such speed that that's uh, quite nice. Now We'll want to try and clear a roughly, yeah, a roughly straight route. I say a straight route to this road over here. It doesn't really need to be a road over there. It could be a road. It could connect up to there, actually. Yeah, I kind of think I prefer the idea of connecting up to the road over 
the road over here. Right. It doesn't need to be super flat, but it just needs to be... It needs to be flat enough to... It needs to be flat enough to bulldoze. Or it needs to be flat enough to build a road over the top, should I say. There we go. Okay, but that's not looking too bad. Average, yeah. Average is that a little bit. There we go. Looking nice. That's looking very, very nice. Looking good. Okay. I think that might just that might just be good enough. Okay, there's a little tiny area where we don't have where we don't have the ability to bulldoze over there, but that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna connect up. We're gonna connect up with Mud Road for now, but this is gonna be a basic Mud Road, i.e., it's gonna be a Mud Road that's gonna be temporary. Right next to this Mud Road, I actually want to run. I want to run our own gravel road, which I plan to, which I plan to build fully by myself. That's right, I said it. In fact, you know what? We don't even want to build a gravel road. I don't even want a gravel road. I want an asphalt road. That's right. Because this is going to be this is going to be a highway. This is going to be really really important. There we go. All the way over here. Brilliant. All the way up here. Yeah, this is going to be the problem because we're not going to be able to uh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to Not gonna be able to manage. Oh, no tell a lie. We are absolutely going to be able to manage Right and we just want to connect up to this Already existing road which we've got over here and connect up to that road over there Okay, that's good and then directly Next to that one as I've already mentioned there's gonna be the access road or what will basically be the access road. The temporary the temporary road that all trucks supplying all trucks supplying the materials will take. You know what? I guess if you build anything in small enough sections, it'll just work. Which is nice. Uh, level this from center, please. There we go. Give me some more grind to work with here. Brilliant. Should work fine, yeah. Well, not quite, but close enough. Why on earth is this not working? What about now? Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. Good stuff. Come down here. All the way down here. Okay. Brilliant. Just like that. Okay, so let's start construction by ourselves. That's cool, and now the proof is going to be in the pudding. So, you are going to want to take gravel, gravel and asphalt. So let's assign a gravel spot to pick up from, right over there. And asphalt, yep, we will pick you up from here. Brilliant. Building doesn't need power, and it's not going to pick up any other resources, I don't think. And let's increase that range to 3,000. Cool. All right, get to it. Brilliant. Uh, so you, you are going to pick up literally just concrete. Literally just concrete. Uh, duh, 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 duh. And you're going to pick that up from right over here. And we're going to increase that to 3,000 meters. So will that, will that cover the entirety of the area? No, it won't. There'll be like... A very, very small section of road which won't be covered. Also, how far into the middle of the ocean does it go? Probably not far enough. Okay, so we're actually only going to be able to do half of the building of the bridge. Maybe that makes me think, do we want to try and just do it in one single part? Because if we do it in one single part, then that means that we can build it all from one end. And there is massive advantage. There is massive, massive, massive advantage in doing that. Build a prefab bridge. Yeah, I don't even think that we need to... I don't even think that we necessarily need to stop in the middle. Right? Oh, goodness. It's getting laggy. But it works. It works. Yeah. Absolutely it does. Well, that's brilliant. Um, I mean... Just... 
give me a sec. I mean, wh why not just build from this already existing point that I've connected the road up to? All the way over to here. Probably will work, right? Yeah, brilliant. That's, that's literally it. Okay. Start construction of planned infrastructure. So now we're just building it in a big single block, which is going to make things so much easier. So much easier. Okay. Uh, concrete and gravel. Well, you guys are going to do concrete and gravel, I believe. Uh, people. Let's assign a source of workers. The source of workers will be the bus stop. I am uncomfortable with using that bus stop, as I've already spoken about a lot. Uh, but that is, that is what it is. Okay, so, you're ready to go, right? And you can be connected up to there as well, just to make sure that you've got access. There we go. Cool, so everyone should be able to, to get stuff done. What is this? This is road 530. Okay, so are we seeing activity from anyone? We are indeed. Brilliant. Now, I'm, you know, I'm not naive. I know that this is going to take rather a long time. But, I mean, if we can, we might as well, right? We might as well... We might as well build it all ourselves. I mean, 467 tons of concrete, 187 tons of gravel. That's actually not that much gravel. It's actually not that much gravel at all. I mean, that's like a third of a load that we'll take on a train. That really is not that much. In fact, that's frankly nothing. Um, I'm just worried about the length of time that it's going to take in order to transport all of this concrete. I mean, the concrete mixers, the concrete mixers carry nine tons each. Nine tons into 467 tons. I mean, you know, you do the maths there. That's a lot of, that's a lot of concrete. That is a heck of a lot of concrete. Fire extinguished. Are you kidding me? We literally just extinguished the fire? Wowzers. That took a while. That took a heck of a long time, actually. Um, speaking of, actually, speaking of, now that we've got the construction office, this looks like a proper, this looks like a proper infrastructure project. Look at that. I'm very happy with this. Very, very good indeed. Um, now that we've got the, now that we've got the construction office, we can actually think about where we want to diverge. Yeah, probably about here. Um, where we want to diverge from the highway and build over to Grainsky. And I think probably around here, probably as fine as anywhere. We could bridge directly at the, the end or the start of the bridge, but um, as in bridge, bridge the route. Bridge the route is the wrong term. Split the route is probably the, the, the more correct term. I'm just keen to keep costs down, you know, whilst we are traveling over to, uh, to Grainsky. Ah, okay. Uh, presents us with a problem. How likely are we to be able to get across this river? Ah, yeah, so literally that is the limit of our excavation power. Could do it over here, maybe, get across there. That's eh, not too bad. Across here, no. Okay, so you know, there are certain places where our excavators will go and there are certain places that they will not go. And that is just the way of the world, unfortunately. And unless I want to build another excavation depot, don't really think that we've got much choice. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is fine, to be honest. What I will do is I will start paying for excavation. Yeah, you know, I'll pay four grand. There we go. Four grand here. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Ten grand there. And another four grand over there. I know it's maybe not the most cost-effective way of doing it. Maybe it would have been better if I was to buy a construction depot and just buy my own my own mechanisms again. But I'm not going to do that. Turn that off. Uh, it's just too much of a faff. Need a free construction thingy? I think we can manage without a construction thingy. He says very confidently. Yes, we can manage. Easy peasy. Right, and then this side of the power cables is basically where the limit of the bulldozers comes out to. So that's fine. Okay, that's looking good. Looking good. And then we will connect that up with that over there. So that's now an access route to uh, to Grainsky. Now, of course, we're probably going to want to make 
make that a highway as well at some point. Although that's going to be slightly more challenging because this is all dirt road. And it's always been dirt road as well. That's a road that I didn't build. That's a that's a road that's in the game since the since the since the map spawned. Uh, but no matter. Anyway, let's also think about connecting up the docks down here. This should be a slightly easier job, given that the range of the bulldozers should extend to Shipsky. That's looking good. Uh, we've also got a construction office over there, but I don't think it's got anything in the moment. Yeah, now we don't currently have any road connection between Shipsky and Potatograd. Although that should probably be rectified, um, and that should probably be rectified with a highway as well. Because we'll probably want to connect up some roads at some point over here. Man, this is actually really, really quick. We've got a lot of bulldozers at work. And also this is very, very shallow water that we're covering up here. There we go. I'm quite enjoying this. Maybe I should just play painting games on my YouTube channel instead of playing all these, you know, hardcore strategy games. Because this is fun. I don't even want to stop. I'm just talking now so that I can extend the joy that I'm feeling. Let's tidy up all this water. I mean, we have, like, completely terraformed the map. Yeah, we have completely changed the map. Yeah, now there's no... <laughs> yeah. We just completely eliminated all of the the water in this uh, in this area. Anyway, that doesn't particularly matter. That was that was a little little bit of excitement, wasn't it? Right. So I said that that was going to be the bridging area or the 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 area that it, that splits off. Uh, we'll move this down here. That can connect over to there. Brilliant. And then we're going to look for a route. We're going to look for a route back to Potato Grad just with a dirt road for now. Ooh. Just the dirt road for now, but uh, almost certainly going to upgrade that to a proper road at some point in the near future. Or maybe even maybe even now. Can we do that? How, how far do my construction offices extend out from Potato Grad? There we go. And connect that up over there. Okay, that's actually not looking too bad. That's look, that's not looking too bad at all. Pretty happy with uh, with that. Power plant is still operating at full capacity. Uh, steel mill is still operating, not really at full capacity, but you know, kind of close to it. Uh, we're making good progress on the ore processing plant as well. That's really really good. There is so much construction activity happening that it's actually really quite exciting. It really is. It very much is. And, uh, you know, we're already a third of the way through this superhighway section. I say superhighway section. It's not a superhighway section, but it is a section of highway. Uh, what we should probably do in order to help accommodate the speed at which this is built, we'll just get this connected up over here, get this connected up over there, connected up over there, that connected up over there, uh, that connected up over there, that connected up over there, and that connected up over there. Uh, you know, just sort of split it into lots of smaller bits, which I think should make it a little bit easier for the for the trucks to find out where to where to go. Also, look at the speed at which our money is ticking down. It's barely ticking down at all. It's wonderful. What are we buying, really, at the moment? It's chemicals. Chemicals is literally the only thing that we're purchasing. How unbelievable is that? So, chemicals are currently used to make clothing, and that's it. And to be honest, we can probably start thinking about setting up our, our own chemical production process. Um, apart from the fact that I think we need, yeah, we need to do some research in order to get that set up. But you know what the good news is, is that we are making significant progress on our technical university as well, which is also really, really good. Uh, so we're actually, we're actually using, at least I hope to be using, uh, a bunch of these prefab panels that we were, that we've been stockpiling for about 16 years. Uh, we still need a little bit more steel. And I'm still not entirely convinced I understand how the steel is working over here. Uh, in fact, no, I, I, am, I am certain that I don't understand how the steel is working in that area. But that's fine. Uh, trains seem to be delayed somewhere. What's going on here, chaps? Oh, goodness gracious me. Yep, no idea why... No idea at all why this specific signal right here seems to cause so much strife. I'm almost convinced it's got to do with, like, the game loading back in on itself. Maybe I try demolishing this... This, uh, this 
this bit of track and then give it again another crack because there's always a signal. You know, I'm not going to place a signal down over there. I'm just not going to do it. Also, what does it require in order for us to build this bridge? Because I did say, like, ages and ages and ages and ages and ages ago that I would be rather keen on building this bridge by myself. Um, bricks, steel, boards, and gravel. How much would this bridge cost? One million rubles. Yeah, that's a no. That's a big old no. Uh, I mean, bricks we could connect up reasonably easily. Steel. Steel is technically already connected to the... To the roots. Technically, on a very technical level. Um, prefab panels as well. That's already connected. So, I mean, it's not out with the realm of possibility to try and get... To try and get a... a uh... Oh, no, hold on. Yeah, it's not out with the realm of... Wait, that's a road. This classifies as, as a road? Wait, what? Yeah, okay. I no idea why this is classified as a road, but it doesn't particularly matter. Yeah, so actually, it's not... It's not the craziest thing in the world. I, I also believe that there were some changes to the way that train construction worked. Or rail construction worked, should I say. So it would be a good opportunity to test if some of those some of those bits and bobs have been fixed. How are we doing? Wow, we have barely scratched the surface of gravel and concrete. Although I will say, yeah, gravel, not really that much. Concrete is, is a bit more of a problem. Okay, so we've got an excavator that is heading over to the site in order to do some excavations, which is nice. There we go. And presumably we're going to need a worker as well in order to operate that excavator. Ah, all of the buses have been dispatched, so hopefully we're going to get a couple of them. The, the problem is, the problem is... Will the workers still be in the buses by the time they get out over here? I'm not convinced. And also, why haven't these dumper trucks started work on this bit of road? I have absolutely no idea. Are these vehicles without fuel? These vehicles are without fuel. Right, well, that's a good thing. Definitely something that we should probably have considered slightly earlier. Build a gas station... Build it by hand. There we go. And everyone's going to try and fill up. However, slight problem here, chaps, is that we ain't got no power. Uh, which is a bit of a bummer. We do have power over here, though. I think this is probably the quickest area to draw power from, or the closest area to draw power from. Yeah, swap down a media voltage switch right there. That over there like that, that over there like that. Build that, build that. And... Build this over here like so. Fantastic. I'm a little bit miffed that I need to do this, but if it means that we get fuel up and running, then I guess it kind of has to be done. There we go, and build that all myself. That's only going to cost 10,000 rubles, so... I mean, it's a price worth paying, right? There we go. And we will start... We will start refueling all of these trucks, which is going to allow them to make the long journey back to Potatograd, hopefully. Concrete plant's not assigned a source. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's that's absolutely a-okay. And we are actually making progress on this. Okay, brilliant. So we're using some of the concrete... And the work days are being reduced to 23,000 work days. Can you believe that? That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I feel like maybe we should try and get ourselves some more dumper trucks. Just because of the length of time and the, the amount of resource that we need to move. It might seem like a sensible thing to do. Is this a coal train? This is a coal train. Brilliant. How, how low on coal are we over here? 430 tons? Oh, we got plenty of coal. Plenty, plenty, plenty of coal. And we've still got plenty of workers at the bus stop, which is grand. Yeah, I mean, this is all this is all good. We've got plenty of workers everywhere, as far as I'm concerned. We've got plenty of workers to go around, which is real good. Look at this! We're actually making this technical university 
in not super slow time. What we do need more of, however, is steel. Um, I mean, is there really a way to sort out the steel? Yeah, delete that. Is there any way? Is there really any way to any 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 possible way to sort out this steel? I uh, I'm not entirely convinced that there is. The only thing that I could conceivably think of is that we have another forklift depot, another forklift garage, as they say. Right, another forklift garage. Stick that over there. Yeah, get that built. Get that built. Build it all. And then we're going to add a new connection. We're going to add that. And then we're going to add that. This forklift garage over here. Let's remove the small connection. Load 100%. Load 100%. And then buy some forklifts. Cool. Right, so now we've got forklifts that have got specific jobs to transport specific resources to specific places. Right? So basically there's going to be a 1 to, you know, a 1 to 1 to 2 ratio of steel that is picked up and delivered to each storage area. So, you know, for every for every 2 bits of steel that goes to be loaded onto the train to be sold for export, uh, there's going to be one bit that is loaded onto the, uh, or loaded into the small storage area. Which I think is probably, maybe not the ratio that we'll eventually settle on, but at least it's going to help with construction in the early days. Also, the, uh, this big boat is ready to sail, basically, 500,000 rubles. I'm going to turn this train around and get you to head to the border over there. Yep. And then, as I've already hinted at, I am actually going to start looking at... Oh, look at that. We're making significant progress on this on this road. I am actually going to... I think I am actually going to try and build this, this tunnel, if at all possible. At least set the... At least set the, 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 the gears in motion. Um, what do we need? It's gravel. No, it's not even... There's a bit of gravel that we need, but not that much gravel. Bit of gravel... And then there's a factory connection as well that we could get. So, I mean, if we were... If we were to be sensible about this, we would probably try and put this in a location where we can connect up a open storage and a warehouse as well. Or will we need a warehouse? I don't think we'll actually need a warehouse. A warehouse just stores domestic goods and then also mechanical components. And we only need bricks, prefab, panel, and gravel. Yeah, okay. I think we'll... I think we'll do something like this. And you know what? We could probably build this rail construction office by ourselves as well. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't seem that doesn't seem too difficult to do at all. Okay, so... Let's do something like this. In fact, you know what? We could put it in the construction area. Mm, he says, and then he kind of immediately regrets saying that. I think this area is probably the best area to, to put the to put the construction office in. Because, I mean, it's kind of the most central map location. Anyway, let's do... Let's do something like that. Cool. Yep, get that flattened. Get that built. And then let's also connect up this road, like so. And then we should indeed, hopefully, have movement from the construction offices just over here, which definitely should be within range. Also, did I bump up the range of each and every one of these? There we go. Bump up the range of that. 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 Cool. Just making sure. Just making sure. Just making sure that everyone has got a job. Can't have anyone in this economy without a job. You know, that's just not that's just not how I operate. Absolutely just not how I operate. Anyway, uh, so we're going to start work on the rail construction office as well. And after that, it will be a case of connecting up all of the different sources of things that we need. So let's, uh, let's set that up right now. So we're going to need an open storage... An open storage large or an open storage small? I mean, we might as well just get an open storage large. 
so that we can so we can take account of uh, you know any deliveries of resources via train so that'll be good let's get that over there let's get a factory connection here see if that works too sharp of a turn uh, really man I do like building everything um, by by hand you know homemade homemade resources too sharp of a turn really try that yeah that's not look okay I was way to say that's not looking too bad turns out it is looking too bad okay try that brilliant brilliant I mean probably could have been slightly shorter but that's fine um so that will take care of all of the resources all of the resources that need to be stored in the open storage so that is let me get this straight that's bricks that's bricks I can just check here bricks prefab panels steel wood and boards so all of that will be stored in there so steel boards bricks prefab panels and then gravel as well gravel can be stored in a what am I looking for I'm looking for a small aggregate storage yeah small aggregate storage can be stored over here mm. yeah sure in that orientation it's not looking too bad by the way I should have mentioned uh, principally I will be planning to use this uh, use this as a road as a road open storage the reason that I've the reason that I've elected to keep the um, to keep the to keep the area free for potential train tracks is not really indicative of the way that I plan to use it I plan to primarily have lorries dropping goods off in here maybe at some point later on if we need larger quantities of a good we can we can drop it off via train but most of the goods are just going to be dropped off via lorry at the moment I think that's easier rather than building you know a train connection to the you know to the brick area over here and then connecting up my primary industrial where is the trains the trains have gotten stuck again haven't they oh my god it's just the worst oh, this is just so irritating right for now disconnect that track disconnect that track oh no he's just gonna done it eh Right, there you go. Don't get confused. Just go. There you go. Brilliant. Very, very well done. Very well done. And again with this bug, which seemingly is just absolutely destroying me at this point. I have absolutely no idea what it could possibly be down to. Yep. Absolutely no idea whatsoever, but it's really getting on my nerves because it means that we're just not able to... We're just not able to do what we need to do. Also, has the boat left? The boat's left. Is the boat actually at the border? The boat's at the border and is unloading over half a million tons. Half a million tons? No, not half a million tons. Uh, 1,700 tons of steel, which is pretty substantial. Uh, worth just about 600,000 rubles, or worth over 600,000 rubles. So that ain't too shabby if I do say, myself, uh, say so myself. Anyway, where was I? I was over here, wasn't I? Yes, I was already a bunch of gravel on the site already a bunch of asphalt on the site brilliant anyway I was saying that this area is going to be primarily for use of trucks which is why we need to make sure that the road entrance is uh, is all working uh, I also want to build some conveyors and I probably am going to be able to do this through a singular engine transfer that's the dream anyway There we go. Fantastic. And we'll start construction of that. I don't think... Ah, there's mechanical components that are going to be needed in order to build the uh, conveyor engine transfer. But apart from the mechanical components, that should be fine. Uh, the aggregate storage, by the way, is for gravel. So we can move the gravel by truck. We'll move... In fact, we don't need to move the gravel by truck. Yeah, but we want to move the gravel by truck. We'll move the gravel by truck for now between, uh, between this aggregate loading area and... Uh, and we'll just load it straight into the aggregate storage itself. We don't need to get an aggregate unloading. But you see, the thing is that if we want to, at some point in the future, drop off uh, gravel by train, we can totally do that. We'll just hook up a, you know, train aggregate unloading 
right over here. And we'll just plumb it into the, to the aggregate storage. So that should work reasonably easily. Uh, I want to make sure that this entire area is connected up via road. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. Right, let's flatten this land a little bit. Okay. And in fact, am I able to come down under here? No, I am not. Mm, that's a shame. I was kind of hoping that maybe I'd be able to cut through the middle there. But, you know, we'll just go for the second best option, which is what I was kind of preparing for anyway. And that is round the back. Yep. Run parallel with the track and link up over there. And we can tidy up this mess that we created in the in the meantime. Okay, so that's looking pretty darn good. I mean the amount of construction that all of these that all of these trucks have to deal with or all of these offices have to deal with now probably fairly substantial. Yeah, it is. It is fairly substantial. But this is kind of the way I like it. I mean, you know, we're we're building a town and we're building it we're building it using, you know, products that we've made that we've made at home. Which is tremendously exciting, and we're actually making money in the process, which is the most unbelievable thing out of a list of unbelievable things. Right. Ah, yes. You're going to fill up fuel, and you're going to turn right around. Ah, okay, alright. Well, might I compliment you on the brilliant way that you were able to turn around on a, um, on a dime there. That was quite spectacular. Quite spectacular in a major, major way. Wowzers. Yeah. Holy cow, that was impressive. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm kind of thinking that maybe we just disconnect this bit of track right here. And instead we force all trains to travel through the diesel station. I don't know if that's going to make any difference to the, to the speed. But, you know, this is just another... These points are just another point of failure, really, which I... I can see becoming an issue because, I mean, you know, points everywhere seem to become an issue. Doesn't matter what what I seem to do, they always just uh, they always just seem to cause problems. Speaking of problems, how are things going? Coal, we're not doing too badly on the coal front. Look at this, we're making an ore processing plant. We're actually making an ore processing plant, and it's it's happening fairly decently. Um, we need a little bit more gravel. We need a little bit more gravel in the concrete plant. Is there any way that I can perhaps? automatically insert the gravel. I think I can, right? Yeah, I can automatically insert the gravel if I was to get gravel out over here. Uh, there is a gravel chute here. Uh, there's also a gravel chute right over here. So if I was somehow able to get that gravel chute over there, I mean, oof, this is going to be this is going to be a, a massive pain to do, but it might be possible, especially with the modded uh, the modded conveyors that I have in place. Right. Where is the building that's on fire? It's right up here. I think that's probably with within range of Potato Grad Fire Station. The only problem is, is that we don't really have a road nearby. Mm, yeah, well, we do have a road nearby. But the descent in order to get to that road is rather steep. No matter. I will just trick the game into thinking that it's not that steep. Right. Fire truck was called and is headed across here. Brilliant. Let's go back to solving the problem of gravel. Because gravel we should have in abundance. Or relative abundance, I should say. We should have gravel in relative abundance. But we need to get we need to get the gravel moved over to the to the concrete area. I, I wonder, maybe it's better that we move the concrete plant. Although that does seem like a like a royal faff, if I do say so myself. A roadside conveyor, I mean a roadside conveyor would be a very good way of transporting a very, very good way of transporting the uh, the goods. Let me have a little look. So if I was to put a roadside conveyor there, yes, and then a roadside conveyor over here. Let's give this a shot. So, okay, firstly, connect this up. Yep, 
works fine. Uh, some other infrastructure's in the way down below. How how close is that to actually working? I feel like it's not a million miles off. Ah, oh, gosh darn, that's that's so irritating. Um, is there any way that I can? Any way that I can perhaps bump up the height of these of these roadside conveyors? I suspect I suspect the answer to that is not Q and E. No, that doesn't do it. I mean, the other option that we have is to put down another type. But then again, you know, there's already a bridge. There's already a bridge here, and we're not going to be able to replace it. Uh, the other option that we do have is there's another exit for the gravel over here. And if we were to put in a road passer over here, then that might allow us to get gravel around the extent of the prefab panels factory. Alternatively, is there a way that I can do... So you currently... We can't move gravel. That's the problem. We can't move gravel via forklift, which is a bit of a bummer. Because I was thinking, maybe we could take gravel out of the prefab panels factory and stick it into the concrete factory by forklift. But you can't do that. That's cheating, apparently. Yeah, okay. Um, I also wonder, like, maybe it's worth me taking a little crack at this bridge. I mean, I'm going to do something here, which I maybe shouldn't do. I'm going to delete two sections of that bridge right there. Yeah. And then I'm going to see, firstly, if I can get a road crossing. Road crossing in here. Will that link up, actually? Okay. This, this way around. Okay, so that does actually that does actually want to do it. Uh, demolish that, and let me see if I can fill it in with my own cheap wooden bridge. Building is in the way. Building is in the way. I kind of feel like maybe this is our best bet. Okay, so that's just about the steepest descent that we can make it. I do feel like this is a kind of abusing the. Uh, the game a little, a little bit, a little bit of a sense. Uh, but if we were to do this, then that would sort of clear up our problem. What do I need? I need a road crossing. Sure. Ah, oh, it's it, it, it looks good, but I mean, it doesn't look good enough, does it? Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, I mean, the other alternative is to see if we can link that up yet yeah, link that up like that and then we just have two we have two of these two roadside crossings where are we going going over there uh we want to come out yeah so something like something like that Give that a bash. And... Give... That a bash. Sure. Okay, so if we can connect that up by some miracle, probably it's going to look far too funky, but... Maybe it'll work. That works not too badly. Okay, good. And then another conveyor engine transfer, or just a... Just a regular conveyor engine transfer, really. In fact, stick in another conveyor engine transfer here. So that we don't have to move any... Uh, yeah, I was thinking, let's try and get ahead of... Let's try and get ahead of moving pylons and stuff, because I really don't want to do that. Roadside. Yep. Cool. Cool. Brilliant. Get that in place right over there. And then get the conveyors in. Overlaps with the existing construction. Okay. You know what? Maybe we just ditch the 
pylons. Although the pylons are in a very precarious position here. Uh, ah, the overlapping of the construction was... Was there. Okay. And in place over there. Good. Due to infrastructure below. Really? Really video game? Right, demolish this. Cool. Caveira engine transfer. Infrastructure below. Still infrastructure below? And what about that? It really? Infrastructure below? Right, come on, video game. Stop stop messing around here. Uh, because this is this is the surefire way. This is the surefire way that we will definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, be able to increase our gravel capacity. Uh, yeah, then and there, brilliant. Okay, this is gonna work. This is gonna be the one. It's not the one. That works though. Let me let me try. There you go. Conveyors there. I knew I had it on. I knew it. I, I had it on. Uh, the hotkey somewhere. Okay, try that. I'm basically trying to create a situation where no... Where no supports underneath need to be created. But it looks like there might always need to be supports created underneath. Which is deeply irritating. Because that, frankly, doesn't look like it should cause any problems. It shouldn't cause any problems. Yeah, but yet it is. It absolutely is. Okay. Try that there. Still having issues with that. Right, okay. Well, the potential solution is maybe to take this out. And then, you know what? Just do exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. And get rid of the support. And that still causes problems. Is there any way, is there any way to bridge, is there any way to bridge this conveyor? Maybe there's not. That's the thing, is there, there might be, there might be no way at all to get under here. Um, I could rebuild this. I really don't want to rebuild any of this industrial nonsense, but I might end up having to. Look for this one. I feel like we can't be far off, like, hitting... Hitting that point. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to just. We're just gonna have to redo this. I kind of assumed that you were able to. That you were able to just uh, build under or build build over the top of industrial connections. Maybe that's maybe that's an assumption too far. Um, will that end up causing problems? Actually, no. That actually doesn't end up causing problems at all. Yeah. Actually, no, that does end up causing problems because we need to get cement over here. Um, okay, but let me let me see if this does actually allow me to build underneath it. Overlaps the existing construction. Yeah, however, what if I take this back here? And instead... Right. That in there... Okay, good. Overlaps with existing construction. Oh, no. Also, what the heck was that? Fire extinguished. Brilliant. Okay, and that's being demolished as well. Is there any way to even get across here? I'm now supremely skeptical. He's not skeptical. He's optimistic. He's done it. And in fact, it's been done in a way that's not completely garbage either. Okay, that's that's really good. Okay, build that with my own rubles and then go back into the conveyor interface and see how much this is going to cost me. 47,000 rubles. It's a price worth paying and also 1,800 rubles in order to build a completely ridiculously changed bridge. Right. I mean, maybe you know what? Maybe there is a way to What the heck? 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe there was a way to do that cheaper, slightly cheaper, but as far as I'm concerned, it flippin' worked, didn't it? And now we will be supplying gravel directly to where it needs to go, uh, which is going to allow us to make, like, a gargantuan amount of concrete in comparison to what we were making previously. Connect up the wire so that we don't have massive issues, which might end up arising because... Oh, perfect. It works. It works. It's not the not the smoothest of turns, but it looks not too bad. Okay, fantastic. We are now able to make a ridiculously large amount of concrete. Uh, also, what I should probably do is there is a single dumper truck whose job it is to deliver gravel. I don't actually know which dumper truck has that glorious job. However, I don't particularly care. Look at this. Look at the steepness of this bridge. I feel almost bad. I feel almost bad. Almost. Very, very close to feeling bad. Maybe we can look at fixing that at some point in the future. Um, you're going to do your unload, my dude. This is the dumper truck, by the way, that, if, that, that, is, that his, job is to, his job is to unload gravel and gravel only. And now he can't even do his job. So, you know what? I'm going to tell you to go to the depot because we no longer require your services. Thank you for all that you did. But now we're gonna we're gonna be importing gravel directly, and that's the that's the way it should be. To be honest, that works a heck of a lot better. It does look a little bit messy. We have sort of ruined the uh, the lovely look of the the industrial estate. However, needs must. This is a this is a pressing time, and frankly, I'm not that bothered about it. You know, functional over over beautiful any day of the week, right? I suppose I would say that, wouldn't I? But no, seriously, in all seriousness. Seriously, in all seriousness, it's actually looking pretty good. Uh, yep, our small aggregate storage is looking pretty good as well. We're making steel. We're storing steel in the open storage. It works. It works like an absolute charm. It works like an absolute charm, and uh, we're not quite... We're not quite storing enough. But we're probably not quite producing enough steel either. Yeah, our trains look like they've sort of rectified themselves, which is brilliant. And we've actually managed to make money, I think, since the start of this episode. Uh, actually, maybe that's a maybe that's a lie. Maybe we haven't actually made money. Is that boat still unloading at the border, by the way? Wow. It actually is. It actually is, and it's got another 100,000 rubles to go. 170,000 rubles, actually. So that's going to take us well over a million rubles at the end of this episode. Which is which is a pretty darn good place to be in. Um, the highway is coming along at a rate of knots, actually. Yeah, we just need to move more gravel, frankly. Um, but that's not too much of a problem. So that's good. Good progress on that. How much progress are we making on the bridge? Not as much as I would like to see, to be honest. Road 530 should be at the top, but doesn't really seem to change that much. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to build the bridge at some point today. However, it doesn't seem like the trucks are that bothered about it. To be honest, the fact that we didn't have anywhere near enough concrete production was probably significantly holding things up. But now that we're sorted within the realm of concrete production, I think we'll just, we'll just fly. We will just fly. Look at that. We're using a gargantuan amount of gravel, actually. Yeah, where's the gravel train? Can I check on the gravel train? Oh, you're kidding me. What is going on here? What is going on? Why? What is the problem? There is no reason. There is no reason why you should be stuck here. I don't get it. I... I, I don't get it. Oh, goodness gracious me. How much gravel have we got? 510 tons of this stuff? That's pretty good. Man, I'm... That's really irritating. How are we doing pollution-wise? Um, yeah, not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Fine pollution-wise. Turn around! You... Oh, unbelievable idiot. This is the gravel train. This is the train that we're counting on right now in order to bring us in more materials for concrete production. Can you believe it? Can you actually believe it? I sure as heck cannot. And I'm so upset. So upset. And I still don't understand what the problem is. I still do not understand what the problem is. Maybe we just need to completely demolish the track and then try it again. A fire. 
what brilliant news. Uh, it's at the aggro farm. That's fine. We can we can deal with that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to gravelify all of this road uh, because this has been annoying me for a significant period of time. And uh, I want to I wanna have a consistent bit of road. Is that too much to ask for? I don't think so. Let me just get this road upgraded. The entirety of this road. And the crazy thing is, this is actually quite an important road. Quite an important road in terms of road. There we go. That it there. That it there. That it there. There we go. Look, there's a lot of traffic that come down this road, and I have no idea why it's taken me this long to actually get it upgraded. It wasn't even really money, really. It was uh, a lack of will, I think you could probably say. Right, we got some firefighters. Uh, we, do have, we don't have any fire engines, but that's fine too, I guess. Uh, if the firefighting is going well, then, you know, why bother with engines, right? And then get that whole stretch of road upgraded as well. Brilliant. Has the gravel train arrived? The gravel train immediately needs to head back. Yes, please. Go there as fast as you possibly can. Goodness gracious me. Sometimes I hate trains. I just hate them. They're just so irritating. No, in fact, you know what? I take it back. I don't hate trains. I don't hate trains. I just hate the rails. The rails are the rails are the things that are the problem. The trains ain't the problem, it's the rails. Oh man, look at this. We're actually building this flipping road and it's it's working. We're building so much stuff. I mean, we're 50% of the way through the uh, coal ore processing plant. We will need to inject a little bit of capital into that just to, to buy the mechanical components, but that's fine. Um, I was kind of hoping that we'd finish the technical university at some point within this episode. So maybe I'll just uncap the amount of employees or the amount of builders, I should say, that we can use to build this. Now that might end up causing problems because... We need those. Uh, we need those people to go and work at the power plant. However, I want to get the technical university finished. I mean, what a great endorsement of, you know, the power of building your own stuff. If we're able to get that finished within the episode, we've got all of the materials on site. It's literally just a case of getting it built. So let's get that done. Power plant is still looking okay at this moment in time. Yep, a couple more people to come and work. Brilliant. Okay, that's that's smashing. That's really really good. Losing a little bit of money. I don't know what from. But it looks like the boat has finished. Yeah, the boat has finished unloading uh, all of the steel, which is fine. We ended up spending a bunch of that a bunch of that money on gravel, which is I mean, you know, it's a pretty good use of pretty good use of, of funds, as good uses of funds go. Yeah, we're managing to keep the coal power plant occupied. That's brilliant. What a lovely little town we've got, eh? What a lovely little town. The one thing, the one thing that irritates me, the one thing that irritates me is probably the fact that we don't have any paths, or we we do have paths, but they're just not, they're not big enough. So, paths really speed up how much, uh, the speed at which, at which people walk. Kind of want to... Kind of want to build more of them. Yeah, but that's... Okay, I mean, well, you know what? It was... It was an ambitious prospect. It was an ambitious prospect. And, uh, you know, it will be remembered for being bold. But it doesn't matter, frankly. I'm not that concerned about it. Uh, the, the other way that we can improve... Yeah, so walk speed is 112%. The other way that we can improve walk speed, I believe, is... Yeah, installing streetlights with, uh, with asphalt. So, I kind of want to get some of this road upgraded. Let's not auto-build it. Oh, but that's going to mean that people aren't going to be able to walk on it. I mean, that is just going to cause an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, you know what? Just just fund that myself. Yeah, I mean, we want this entire... We want this entire high street to be converted to asphalt road with streetlights. So that we can have some proper fast walking. Some proper fast walking action. But it doesn't need to be done right now. Hey, we finished the technical university. How brilliant is that? 
We finished the technical university. That's fantastic. Right. I'm going to decrease the amount of uh, employees that we have working in here at the moment. Students waiting for professor. That's kind of perfect. Uh, professors at the moment. Students in auditorium. We don't have that many. I'm going to start researching chemistry, I think. Um, I'm not super bothered at the speed that research happens, to be honest. So we'll keep that to two professors. I'd rather teach people, to be honest. I'd rather teach the, you know, the, the pupils. That's probably more important. But I would just like to remark on the fact that we managed to build this entire technical university from materials that we built at home, which is pretty cool, actually. Very, very cool, in fact. Yeah. Very, very cool. I I mean, that gets a massive, a massive thumbs up from me. We're now making a whole bunch of concrete. We got a whole bunch of asphalt. I say we got a whole bunch of asphalt. We don't really have that much asphalt, but we will be able to make um, asphalt entirely at home very, very soon. Once we start moving bitumen across here on the big old bridge, which is going to take a while. Uh, this is a problem. This is a problem that I didn't foresee happening. Oh, God. Okay, so there's two... Okay, there's lots of trains. Okay, so there's there's literally another iron train. Can you go... Yeah, just go to the next stop. Maybe having this many iron trains is a slight error. Because... It's really not that necessary. Okay. Okay. So I'll reset your route, and then I'll let everyone cross. We should probably make sure that there is only bridges that cross uh, train lines, because this problem always ends up rearing its ugly head each and every time. Um, there's a slowdown. It, it impacts construction and whatnot. Or processing plant. Look at this! It's actually working! It's actually working! I just can't believe it. I just actually cannot believe. I actually cannot believe that we're building stuff... And it's working? You know, that's what's crazy. Is that we can just start building whatever whatever thing we want to. And it'll just get done. Because we've got all of the resources. We've got all of the materials. And it's all automatic. Which I find very, very satisfying, I must say. The highway over here is... I mean, we're making good progress on this bit of road, to be honest. Making good progress on the entire stretch of this road, I think. Yep, if we zoom in, we can have a little bit of a, a, little bit of a better look of the exact progress that is currently taking place in front of our eyes. Still perturbed as to why we're not making any progress on this road over here. Is it because... Is there a digger at the other end by any chance? I don't think so. But the number of work days that are needed to finish the groundworks are actually decreasing. So, not entirely sure why that's the case. But, I mean, one of these days it's going to look one of these days is going to look cracking, isn't it? Look at this. What a what a brilliant bridge. What a brilliant bridge. Or at least the brilliant plan for a brilliant bridge. Oh, man. Look at that. That's very, very cool. Uh, right. Well, you know what? On that note, ladies and gents, there, there was a fire. Um, I did see that. Where is that? That's at the kindergarten. And, uh, oh, it's right next to the fire station. Cool. Well, right. Ladies and gents. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. That's the fire being extinguished right at this moment. Um, if you're interested in helping out the channel, check out the Patreon. Um, you know, if not, that's all cool. Uh, but, yeah, catch you in the next episode of, uh, of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. I'll see you then. Bye.